Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So today I'm going to be doing denim nails. I know denim nails was popular like months ago and I know I'm just hopping onto the trend a bit late, but let's just get right into the video. So first off, I'm going to clean my nails with an alcohol wipe just to get rid of any dust. By the way, I did push back my cuticles before I started recording. Since I do wear the nails for a couple days, I'm using a peelable base coat. I'm making my own. Um, peelable base coat just makes it easier to remove the nails, therefore saving me a lot of time. So as you saw, I applied cuticle oil and I'm applying a McCart base coat and I specifically only use this base coat when creating my peelable base coat because it does get contaminated with oil, of course. So I'm just going to cure the nails for 30 seconds and I did go in with another round of cuticle oil and base coat off camera. So I'm using coffin nail tips from ASP. I bought them from Sally Beauty. They're long and they have a C curve. And the nails are more on the bigger side. Like I have here size 9 which is the smallest size and it does not fit my pinky at all. It's way too big and it just about fits my index nail. So I have all my nail tips laid in front of me and I did file the nail tips off camera. I had to do a lot of filing so the nail tips fit sidewall to sidewall. Since I am going to glue the nail tips on, I'm just going to lightly buff the peelable base coat so the nail tips can adhere better. And to get rid of the dust, I'm wiping it away with an alcohol wipe. So I'm using Kiss Max Speed Glue to adhere the nail tips on. I always use this glue. I've read some comments from you guys. Um, just saying that when you guys glue nail tips on and start to file the nail tip, the nail tip pops off and it could be the glue that you're using. So I'd recommend trying this glue. It works really well. And then I'm going to apply a thin base coat onto the entire nail this time. And if you want long lasting nails, then obviously don't use a peelable base coat. Do your nail prep, apply your nail tip, then apply a regular base coat onto the entire nail. All right, so now onto the poly gel application. So I'm using a glittery pink poly gel. Honestly, it doesn't matter what poly gel color I'm using because I'm just gonna cover it with nail art. And so many of you guys ask what I use to pat the poly gel and it's just alcohol. I use 91% isopropyl alcohol and this is a reminder to clean your brush. Always use a clean brush, especially when using clear poly gel because it can result into a foggy look. So I'm trying a new way of applying poly gel. I normally apply poly gel near the cuticle area and then pat that towards the free edge. Then I'll place another bead near the apex and pat that towards the free edge. But this time I'm applying poly gel where I glue the nail tip on and pat it towards the free edge. I want to see if I like this method better. I think this method of application is much more commonly used. So I'm going to cure that before placing a bead near the cuticle. And so far, I really do like this method of application. I can see myself continue to use this method. I'm actually going to switch over to a purple poly gel because I really want to save this glittery poly gel for another set. It's such a pretty color and I don't want to waste it. And now I'm just going to continue with the application process. So I have my nails done and I wanted to know why there's a sticky layer after curing my poly gel nails 
So I did some research and basically found out that the sticky residue is an uncured layer of polygel and because of the oxygen in the air, it prevents the polygel from curing completely. So that's our little educational segment. I just think it's really good to know why certain things occur. Anyways, now I'm just going to file and shape. And now I'm buffing my nails, smoothing out the file marks. In my beginning stage of my nail journey, I used to skip buffing. But when I started to buff my nails, it made a big difference. Not only does it bring shine to the nails, but it also allows a smooth gel polish application. Alright, so buffing is done. So my hands are washed, but now I'm just going to wipe my nails just to get rid of any dust left behind. And I'm mainly going to focus cleaning the cuticle area. So like I mentioned at the start of the video, I'm doing denim nails, but with a bandana and a heart nail art. I received inspiration from one of my t-shirts that I own. I'll insert a photo here. So I'm starting off with my thumbnail. So I'm applying a deep blue gel polish onto my nail. It is translucent, so after carrying the first coat, I'll apply a second coat. So I've seen others use an airbrush for this step, but a sponge works fine, guys. It gives the same effect. Next, I'm taking a lighter blue and just patting it. There's no right way to do this. I'm just applying where I think it looks best, and I'm going to cure that. Then I'm taking a black gel polish, applying it onto the sponge, and again, I'm applying it where I think it looks best. By the way guys, I'm using a kitchen sponge. I cut it into a smaller size and I've seen others use like a chrome powder applicator. You just have to work with what you have. And I cured the black gel polish. Now I'm just going to add white stitches around the nail. So after curing the white stitches, I'm going to move on to drawing the bandana designs and I'm going to attempt to draw a paisley print which basically is a twisted droplet. Next, I'm going to draw a couple circles around the paisley. Honestly, I'm just copying the designs on the heart design of the t-shirt. Then I'm going to cure it. So for the next four nails, I'm going to apply a gray base. So I mixed white and a drop of black gel polish. And now I'm applying it near the cuticles with a thin brush. Then I'm taking the sponge and apply it onto the entire nail. After curing that, I'm going to go in with more gray gel polish. However, this time I'm making it slightly darker. I'm trying to get the same ash gray color of the t-shirt. So for my index and pinky nail, I'm going to do the exact same design as the thumbnail, but as a French tip. So I'm just going to basically repeat the exact same process. So I'm starting off by using blue gel polish and create my smile line before filling that in.
Then I'm going to go in with the light blue gel polish and create that airbrush look. Next, I'm using black gel polish, but I just need to make sure not to mess up the smile line. I'm just going to create the white stitches. And since there is very small room, I'm not going to do too much of the bandana design. So as for my ring nail, I'm going to draw the denim heart. And again, I'm repeating the same process to create the denim look. And because there's such a small space on the heart, I'm going to attempt to draw some bandana nail art. I just don't want to overdo it. So I decided to leave the heart as is. I feel that there's too much of the bandana design going on. So I'll just let the heart rock only the denim look. So for my middle nail, I'm writing open your heart just like my t-shirt says. I'm using a dotting tool. I personally feel like I write better with a dotting tool. So I ended up writing only open your and I'm actually going to add a heart gem instead of writing out the word heart. It is a clear heart gem so after curing it I'm applying black gel polish so it can match the black words. Now I'm finally adding a matte top coat and that should make the nails look like denim. I really want to do this crisscross ribbon design so I cut off a small section of the ribbon on the shirt and I'm cutting it in half and I just want to see how it looks. So I don't like it. I think it will look better if I hand draw the ribbon, but I don't really want to do all that. So I'm just going to leave the nails as is. And now for the finished touch, I'm just going to add cuticle oil. I'm using Dashing Diva Roll-On Cuticle Oil. I really like the smell of it. It's very subtle. It's not overwhelming. And here are the nails. I really like the nails, especially the black heart and denim heart. I'm really happy with how they turned out and I think I did a pretty good job creating my t-shirt inspired nails. So this was super fun to create. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.